What do I feed to my airy silkworms? In winter. Welcome to Peppers mm, Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> In the winter months, the tree of heaven is barren here in the northern parts of Germany. The tree of heaven silk moth, or more specifically the domesticated polyhybrid strain Samia ricini or Eri silk moth, does not hibernate and therefore can, or rather has, to be bred and reared year round. Luckily, it is also quite polyphagous. In fact, my caterpillars fed on almost every type of evergreen leaf that I offered them. Privet is a commonly used host plant, but depending on local conditions and exact variety or species of privet, they are in more or less a good shape in winter. What I use instead is an equally ubiquitous native host plant, the common ivy. Now, based on what I've heard about ivy as winter food for stick insects, I do not use the juvenile creeping climbing form uh, with that iconic leaf shape. Instead, I harvest the mature form that bears flowers and fruits. Those more rounded leaves have worked well for my airy silk moths and I had no trouble at all completing the life cycle solely with those as a food source. On the other hand, my very first attempt at cultivating airy silk moths using this wintergreen species of the cherry genus with the laurel-like leaves uh, failed miserably. So I don't use those, uh, despite being in very good condition in winter. Also, it is almost exclusively found as hedges and I have observed that the local human population tends to be rather defensive about their fences. Gehen Sie sofort weg von meinem Zaun! Die Spinner! Oder ich rufe die Polizei! I have seldom found references to ivy being used as a host plant for Saturnid moths, so I thought this might be worth pointing out. It is a wonderfully useful host plant, since it can be found almost everywhere where I roam, including as wild or feral specimens. It is of course a green in winter, and it does not wilt easily and stays fresh very long, even when not put in water. So, bon appetit, until the tree of heaven will sprout some leaves again in spring.